Okay. Hi. I'm Pandu from the Red Closet Podcast. Histories the Greeks often had an epic story about the origin of a name or region. Call it Hellespontus, Peloponnesus, and the Aegean Sea. Yes, the Aegean Sea, it is said that the name was taken from Aegis the king of Athens, the father of Theseus the hero. But different from other heroes, the story of Theseus has quite a few other sides that we can learn from. So, in this episode I'm gonna talk about Theseus, the king and hero of Athena. Theseus is the king and hero of Athens in Greek mythology, son of Aegis. Theseus was a hero like Perseus, Cadmos, or Heracles. His name comes from the word, the smos, which means law or tradition. But there are also those who call him the son of Poseidon, Neptune, the ruler of the sea. He is part of the generation of Greek heroes, the fourth generation of the five generations of mankind there. The generation of heroes themselves have many generations. Theseus himself is a friend of the same generation. Despite the age difference, Hercules, Telamon, Idas, Laertes of Ithaca, and Jason. He is a senior of the generation of Odysseus, son of Laertes, Achilles, Diomedes, Ajax, son of Telamon. He grew up far from Athens, and when he was of age he traveled east to Athens. This journey marked the beginning of his career as a hero. The beginning of his career started smoothly. He managed to clear the road along Trozen to Athens from famous bandits who disturbed the public. Armed with the sword his father had given his mother in the past, there was no significant difficulty for him to convince his father of his true identity. Without going through the election process and filing a dispute, he was immediately sworn in as crown prince. The success that became the peak of his career as well as catapulted his name was killing the Minotaur, the bullhead man who lived in the labyrinth belonging to Minos, son of Zeus, the king of Crete, for a hero of the caliber of Theseus, killing the Minotaur was not as difficult as designing a master plan. But to get out of the maze that is so misleading is a challenge that is too formidable, even for the hero. Fortunately, he got help on a way to get out of there from Daedalus, the architect of the labyrinth, through Ariadne, Minos' own princess who had strayed into the heart of the prince of Athena. Okay, before we go too deep, you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss the next content. Okay let's go on. Long story short Theseus and his entourage return to Athens. Daedalus who is caught helping Theseus is finally punished and thrown into a maze of his own design. Ariadne? Unfortunately his love was not reciprocated, he was left alone on an island by Theseus, supposedly at the behest of Dionysus, the god of wine and joy who also fell in love with the princess. His young age, a heightened sense of accomplishment, and dissolving by momentary praise caught young Theseus off guard. Negligence that must be paid with his father's life. Before leaving, they had agreed, if the mission was successful, they would develop a white sail. On the other hand, if they fail, they will continue to use the same black screen as when they left. And predictably, they forgot to replace the screen. Aegis who saw the ship coming from the top of the cliff instantly broke his heart. Unable to hold back the turmoil of his heart, 
he plunged into the sea and met his death. That's where it is said that the name of the Aegean Sea came from. And Theseus, with no less broken heart, ascended the throne in his father's place. The Theseus Performance Accountability Report doesn't stop there. He has also completed a number of other hero programs. Although disputed, it is said that he joined Jason as an Argonaut on a mission to retrieve the Golden Fleece in Colchis led by the then King Aetes, son of Helios, the Sun God, a mission he carried out with Castor and Pollux who would later become his enemies. Theseus also followed Hercules' mission to the Amazon in search of the belt of Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazon, at the behest of Aristius king of Mycenae as the ninth of twelve great tasks. His mission to the Amazon led him to capture Antiope, Hippolyta's sister, who later captured his heart and became queen of Athena. It is also worth remembering his battle with Parathus, the king of the Lampet, which turned into friendship and ended in an oath of allegiance to help each other find a wife, an oath that would eventually lead to destruction. His happiness with Antiope did not last long. Shortly after his love child Hippolytus was born, Antiope had to die on the battlefield at the hands of his own brothers from the Amazons, the women's army attacked Athens to free Antiope whom they thought was held captive and enslaved as prisoners were at that time. Instead of sitting still and playing orders like a queen, Ares' blood in her body actually summoned her to the battlefield by her husband's side like a queen in a game of chess. His armor made him so dashing that his brothers didn't recognize him and thought of him as a commander-in-chief of the enemy to be killed and so it happened. After the death of Antiope, Theseus remarried to Phaedra, daughter of Minos, which was also a disaster. Phaedra fell in love with Hippolytus, his own stepson, and of course his love was one-sided. Full of revenge, she instigated her husband so that a curse was issued that caused his flesh and blood to die. What a whore, her regrets later after knowing the truth was useless. His son was dead, his wife hanged herself in shame, again she drowned in sadness. As if fate hadn't played with him enough, he was again possessed by a thought that led him to sink further into misfortune. He came to Parathus and asked for their promise to help each other find a wife. The girl he chose was Helen, daughter of Tyndareus, king of Sparta, who was also known as the daughter of Zeus. The woman who is called the most beautiful in the world is still a teenager, much more worthy of being her child and even grandchildren. Without much fuss Parathus agreed, they kidnapped Helen from Sparta. It was Parathus's turn to claim his promise. He turned out to be much wilder in his imagination. Parathus wants to marry Persephone, queen of the underworld, Hades' wife. Bound by an oath and a debt of gratitude, Theseus did the same with the sages Bisma and Karna, he agreed. Hades, of course, did not stay silent, they were trapped in the underground world due to this impudentity. Fortunately Hercules then came to free Theseus in his final mission of taking Cerberus. Back in Athens, things got even worse. Castor and Pollux, furious to learn that their sister had been kidnapped, came with the Spartan army to free their sister while Theseus was in the underworld. Without the king, Athena did not put up much resistance. After freeing Helen, they appointed a new king in Athens. The hero, not only lost his throne, but also the hearts of his people, finally he went to live a solitary life. As if the punishment wasn't enough, he then met his end after being slyly murdered by Lycomedes over a land dispute. He only got the respect he deserved after Simon of Athens found his tomb and brought it back to Athens. Okay, 
That's all from Theseus's story. If you have a request or suggestion, you can write it in the comment below. If you like this content, please share this video to your friends, your family, your girlfriend or boyfriend. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all.